it's Krista from Covering the Bases and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, we are in my new apartment. I thought I would make a video of my July favorites. Is it July? Yeah, it's July. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know where the months have gone. I didn't, I wasn't able to do a June favorites because I was moving, um, but my favorites would just be like my new apartment because I love it here. So let's just hop into it and get started. So I'll we'll start out with my beauty favorites. Um, I've been doing a lot, a lot of new routines in the new apartment um, with my face and just like beauty and whatnot. And I think it's really fun to share because I do get a lot of like beauty products sent to me. I just never really try them out. So this month has been trying out all my new stuff. So we'll start with this. This is the Claire Sonic. Um, it got sent to me in I think a PR mailer. But I've been loving it. So I know a lot of friends who like have the Clarisonic and love it and whatnot. Um, so I thought I would finally try it out and what better time than to try it out when they gave you one. So um, if, for those who don't know, it just helps you wash your face. So you turn it on and you can either do one or two settings, two different settings. One is just a regular wash and then two is like a deeper wash. You turn it on and it starts to vibrate. Um, and you start on your forehead and you rub it around. You like put soap on it beforehand, rub it around. And then you'll hear that sound, which is means to move on. So it tells you like how much designated time to spend in each place. So you spend 20, 20, 10, and 10. Uh, and that is the first setting. Another thing I have been loving is this L'Oreal Revitalift Bright Reveal Brightening Moisturizer. Woo, that is a lot. So it's just this daily moisturizer that I use that has SPF 30 on it. So in the new place, um, there's no subways nearby and I do live further away from work. So now what I do is I actually just ride my bike down the West Side Highway. And so because I'm out in the sun so much more than normal and because I should be wearing SPF every day, um, I thought this would be a good thing to try. And it's just a moisturizing serum um, that you put on after I wash my face. And then the fact that it has SPF has been really nice. Another thing on the list is this Mario Badescu Super Collagen Mask. So I've been trying a lot of different masks lately. And this one I really, really loved. I've only used it twice so far. You just apply a thin layer on your face, uh, leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and then just rinse off. And my skin has never felt softer. So I got it on Amazon and they have a ton of Mario Badescu there and I'll leave links down below. And then finally for my last beauty favorite of the month is this Goop Replenishing Night Cream. So um, I wash my face once in the morning before work and then once at night before bed. And what I do instead of putting on the moisturizer like I do in the morning, I use this at night. And it's just this really thick and creamy substance and it goes on and it just kind of like moisturizes your skin. Like even in the morning, I can like, when I'm washing my face, I can feel it still coming off, um, which is great because it stays on the entire night long. Oh, okay. Actually, one last thing. This Bionic 10X hair dryer. So I am kind of a snob when it comes to hair dryers. I have always been using this one from Sally's Beauty Supply. I totally forgot what it's called, but it's actually the same maker of the dry bar blow dryers. So this actually is just as powerful, but 10 times lighter. And it just blow dries my hair so fast and it comes out so smooth. I have just really been obsessed with it. So I'm pretty sure you can get this at Sephora. I will link everything down below. I know this is a little bit more pricey, so if you're not interested in this, I will leave my other blow dryer that I highly recommend down below as well. Another favorite this month um, came from the Amazon Prime sale. I actually bought an Alexa and I love her. I didn't know I ever needed one, the Alexa Echo. But we can talk to her, what should we say? Um, Alexa, what's the temperature like outside? In New York, it's 91 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 93 degrees and a low of 78 degrees. That's hot. <laughs> Alexa, thank you. No problem. I'm happy to help. How nice is she? Alexa, play Spotify. Resuming your Spotify queue. She's just been a fun addition to the new apartment. Oh, also, I guess going off of that, my favorite music of the month is Chance the Rapper's Coloring Book. It's his new album that he's released, and Alexa and I have been playing it nonstop 
uh, for the past couple weeks because we like it a lot. So moving on to clothes, which is what I know best. Um, the Nordstrom anniversary sale was this month and it was awesome. I spent way too much money. I actually have a few things to return. I will leave a link down below of everything I purchased in reviews slash sizing on it if you want to know more. But I thought I would just do the top, my top favorite things. So let's just get started. This is a rag and bone hat that I got from the sale. Um, I love to find good wool hats for winter because they're nearly impossible to find. But I really love the color of this and the leather brim that it has on. And then here it is on. I just think it looks so cute and it's gonna be great, great, great for winter and fall and hopefully you can snag one for yourself. I think this also comes in black. Yeah. Next is this Farber sweater. Um, I got it in a US size six, which is a UK size 10. Um, and it's just this wool cable knit sweater that's gonna be so great for layering and for the winter and even sometimes for the colder days in fall. Um, I'm just really excited to wear it. I love everything Barber, so when I saw Barber and sale, I was like, yes, please. Next are these Steve Madden open toe booties. I've been looking for a pair of nude booties for I don't know how long, and the fact that these were on sale, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Um, they've been selling out so quickly, I don't know if they're back in stock, but you can always check, and I will leave, if I can find these anywhere else, I'll leave them down below. They're just so pretty. So this item wasn't part of the sale, but I love it so much. It's actually this sweater I'm wearing. Um, it's from Free People, it has like really baggy, almost like bell type sleeves and it's meant to be a little like loose so it's you can be off the shoulder a little on the shoulder only on one shoulder only on the other stuff like that so when I first got it I was like you know I'm just gonna try it out I probably won't like it but I've been wearing it every single day and now I won't return it I, I ripped up the receipt so it's mine um, it also comes another color so if you guys want to check it out it's great it's so soft I think it's one of those transitional sweaters obviously you can't wear it to work because it's like a little it's a little revealing but it's great because you can wear it in the summer I call it a summer sweater I'm not sick it's so hot out a summer sweater or um, like in the winter and fall it'll be great just to have something more you know sexy and not as bulky as the other sweaters you have in your closet last but definitely not least this was also part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale are these bras so I know it's weird to talk about bras especially to the internet but I'm doing you guys a big public service announcement because these bras are the bomb.com. These are from the brand Natori, N A T O R I. These are called the t shirt bras, and I went into Nordstrom, I'm gonna say about six or seven months ago, and I was like, I need to get fitted for new bras. I haven't gotten new bras in years, um, nothing fits, <laughs> I can't fit myself. It was just so difficult, and so we went through so many different bras, and it was really hard to find one that I liked because my criteria were they need to be really supportive, they need to have no padding, and they need to be full coverage, and they, I would like them to not look like granny bras. And we finally found this brand. Um, we found two different styles of bras that I really like. So this is first the t-shirt style bra, so this is one I wear like almost every day. It has really pretty lace straps which is I think makes it a little bit more youthful and sexy and feminine um, and then it just has like really supportive underwire and no padding in the cup which I really love and plus they're really soft so I really love them I got them in two different colors in addition to the two colors I already own in the t-shirt bra the only thing is these are normally $72 and for a bra to be $72 is like absurd to me so I was like Ugh. but I saw them on the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I was like literally freaking out. So I've told, I've tried to spread the message as much as possible to tell every single person I know to buy these bras because you will not be upset by them. I just, I love them. If you have the chance, go in the store and definitely get fitted because I guess I didn't know my size and I was like, I'm a what? And the other bra I got is actually wearing right now. Without being too revealing, it is a contour bra. So this is this light pink and it has like a lace down the front. This and the t-shirt bra were the original bras I bought. All of them were on sale and so I bought them all again and I love them. So if you have the chance, um, snag them while you can. So that is everything for my July favorites. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your July favorites are down below and I will see you guys later. Bye!